Welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to install and configure Zimbra Mail Server. So basically, Mail Server is an application that send and receive the email from local users, that is people from the same domain and also from remote users. So this setup is handled by a main agent called MTA, that is Mail Transfer Agent. And Mail Server is divided into three main categories. One is SMTP and POP 3 IMAP and at last mail filtering. So SMTP handles all the outgoing mail and POP 3 and IMAP handles all the incoming mails whereas mail filtering uh, category handles processing the email to organize according to specified criteria that is actually for filtering the mails. And now we can see how to install the Zimbra mail server and this Zimbra mail server comes under both categories such as SMTP and POP3 IMAP categories. The Zimbra mail server can be installed in any of the Linux distributions. So here I have taken CentOS and I have set my IP as 7.19 and my host name as mail.linuxhelp.com and one of the important thing to be noted in this is your host name that is your domain name should start only in mail dot for example mail dot example dot com mail dot something else you prefer and you have to create an entry in etc host file so vim etc host so there I have created an entry that is my IP and my domain name mail dot dot com and at last only mail once these basic setups are done you can download the Zimbra tar package from the official Zimbra website. So here you can see the latest version of Zimbra is 8.6.0. So you can download according to your preferred platform. And here I have downloaded the package. There you can see the Zimbra tar package is downloaded. And by default, Zimbra will be installed in slash opt location. So we can move this tar package to slash opt and we can extract over there. So I am moving this tar package to slash opt. So now the package is moved to slash opt. And now we have to extract the package here tar xpf and zcs. now you can see the package is extracted successfully and while you listing you can see the new folder and go inside that folder there you can see the install.sh script in case this script is not in executable mode you can change that script to executable mode and now run that script so at first it will ask for the uh, license agreement just give S yes and enter. So these are the packages which are going to be installed in our system and it will ask for the confirmation for each and every package. Just give S yes and enter. So it says that the mentioned packages is installed then the system will be modified so just give s yes and enter now the specific packages are installing so here it says that dns error to this mail.linuxhelp.com domain since i had didn't create any mx record in my server so it says that the error so now i have created an mx record in my server and if i try once again giving s and I am mentioning the same domain name mail.linuxhelp.com and I am giving enter so now it says that uh, it is suggested that the domain name have an mx record configured in DNS so it will ask to re-enter the domain name so you can give no and now it will ask for the port conflict error so just give enter because 
port conflict error can be solved after the Zimbra is installed. So now we have to set the uh, admin password for Zimbra. So there you can see the admin password category is set that unset. So now I am giving 7 because it comes under the 7th category. So just give 7 and it will ask for the uh, specified number. So admin password is located in 4. So I am giving 4. So now it will ask for the password for admin account. So now I am giving the password as Linux help at 123. So once the password is set, just give R. So now it says that press A to apply configuration. So give A and enter. So now the confirmation asks that to save the configuration. Just give S and enter and the specified location to be saved and <coughs> enter so give s to modify the system so now it will ask for the notify confirmation so it will intake the version of zimbra to be installed in our system and our server's mail id that is admin at mail dot dot com so if the new version or something else uh, is uh, released it will be notified in our respective mail so you can enable this service by giving yes <coughs> thus the Zimbra is successfully installed now press enter to exit so once this setup is done we can log in through browser so https mail dot linux help dot com so the zimbra login page is open and the username is admin at mail dot linux help dot com and the password i have entered before is linux help at one two three So now this is the home page of Zimbra. So if you want to add the user or if you want to add the domain to this Zimbra, just go to admin panel. Uh, in this drop down, you can see the admin console. So once again, give the uh, username as admin and the password as Linux help at one two three. So this is the admin console of Zimbra. So there it starts checking the services that is running or not. So here you can see the some services are not running. So just go to the terminal and you can check the services through service Zimbra status. So you can here you can see the MTS service is stopped. So at first restart the Zimbra is service Zimbra restart So once the Zimbra is restarted we need to check the services like postfix httpd and named service postfix status and this postfix status should be stopped always and apache service and this apache service is also to be stopped and named service and named service should be on while using zimbra so now you can see the status of zimbra so there you can see all the services is active now and once again reload the browser so there you can see that the all the services is running so to create a user in this admin console just go to manage and it will display all the available users and if you want to add a new user go to the settings and click new and now we need to mention the username as 
user 1 and if you leave as it is it won't look like a uh, valid mail id that is user1 at mail.linuxhelp.com so here i am removing this mail dot so now it seems to be a perfect mail id that is user1 at linuxhelp.com and uh, last name i am giving is just uh, user and here we need to mention the password so here i am giving 123456 and if we enable this option we can change the, the password once that particular user is logged in so i am enabling this and we need to change the time zone according to your preference so i am mentioning chennai kolkata time zone so once you click finish the new user is added so now we can log in through the user so i am just logging out the admin panel and now log in to the user it is user1 at linuxhelp.com and the password is 123456 so if you give enter uh, it will ask for the new password so the old password 123456 and the new password i am setting here is linux help so give sign in so this is the users home page so now i am sending a mail to admin account from this user account so just click new new message and admin and you can see the mail id is shown below and the subject is testing mail and the message is hello linux help and click send so now the message is sent to admin console so now going to the admin so there you can see the message from user is displayed so thus the zimbra installation and configuration is shown in this tutorial so in next tutorial we can see how to use some other options in zimbra thanks for watching this video